fish is sinking, fish is sinking. Quick team. <laughs> My fish is sinking. <laughs> I love the water and the sunshine I always have and I really wanted to share some of that happiness with you guys. Camping. It's time to show you a little of the place where I grew up, Australia. Out here where the Noosa River meets the ocean, there's a special kind of sunshine that makes a day like this simply magic. And it's here by the water's edge that we're going to grill the perfect fish. All right, so check out the fish that Tim caught. No, <laughs> Tim did not catch this fish. <laughs> uh, it would, be, would have been really good if he did though. How do you grill a whole beautiful fish like this and not stuff it up? Well, we're gonna walk you through it step by step. You can do it, I promise. Um, first of all, we wait for the boat. <laughs> that wave is totally gonna get me. It's coming, it's gonna get me. <laughs> Not wet. <laughs> you were all hoping I was going to get wet there, weren't you? <laughs> all seriousness though, guys, like this is such a beautiful fish. And so I've made friends with some beautiful, a beautiful local couple and they run an amazing fish shop called Noosa Fish Providors. And they just, you know, for me, finding really good produce means making friends. Make friends with your butcher, make friends with your fishmonger. Um, these are people that will help you out with great stuff. Anyway, so support local business in your area, very important. First things first with grilling fish. And I know it's scary, right? Because the fish can get stuck to the grill. Um, you can't get it off. It all becomes a massive mess. Okay, first of all, you want to bring your fish to room temperature. So this guy has been in our esky, which is what we call a cooler bin. I don't know what you call them around the world. We call them an esky where you have, you know, the ice box. Um, so I took him out about 10 minutes ago. It's quite hot, even though it's a winter day here. And what you want is get him a little bit warmer because when you get cold fish on a hot grill, that's one time when you will get fish skin sticking. So rule number one, do that. Rule number two, you want to get the fish as dry as possible. So get some towel, napkins, and really get in here. Moisture will be your enemy. So what's happening is once this hits the hot grill, if there's too much steam from moisture on the outside of the fish, that's also going to make your fish stick. So two bits of information there that are going to help you out. Now I'm just going to get him really nice and dry. He's so nice. Look at him. All right, so because I want to keep this guy nice and dry, we're not going to do a wet marinade. <laughs> what are you doing, honey? Do you want to come barbecue the fish with mummy? Yeah. Okay, all right, well, can you come sit over here? Because I've got to tell everyone how to do it. And you're standing in the way, they can't see. Yeah, turn around and say hi, everyone. All right, now what we need to do is, <laughs> we're not going to do a wet marinade because a wet marinade is going to uh, obviously make things wet and we don't want our fish to stick. So we're going to keep it really simple. Salt please, Charlie. Honey, that's a lemon. I need the salt. Salt. Thank you. This, this make him pink. Uh, he is pink. That's right. He's a snapper. He's a pink snapper. That's right. All right. So we are going to get lots of salt on here. So that's going to be our main form of flavour here. Good passing of the salt. Good job. All right, so what we do want to do though is make some nice big slits into the flesh here uh, because that'll help it cook more evenly and quickly and also we want to get some seasoning in there as well. So we cut through here, don't we Charlie? Yeah, right down to the bone. All right, lemon, we need lemon next. We're going to stuff uh, the cavity of the fish with a few different things. So lemon first. Good job. Thanks, Charlie. What are doing, Mum? We're stuffing the fishy before we barbecue him. And then we want some dill and some spring onion. All right, see you, honey. Bye. We've lost Charlie. <laughs> All right, we're almost there, ready for our fish, and we want some olive oil. Okay, so the oil as well, really gonna help you out here with not sticking, so be generous. 
All right, so we're ready to get our fish on to the barbecue. I'm using a little charcoal here. Really important that you get the grill plates nice and hot and that the grill plates are nice and clean. Two more bits and pieces that are gonna help you out with this fish sticking, you know, situation. <laughs> Charlie's on her way back. You on your way back, honey? Do you wanna see the fish go on the charcoal? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we get our fish. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, there he goes. Daddy caught No, Daddy didn't catch this one. <laughs> he kept him with the net. He didn't catch it with the net, no. He didn't catch this one at all. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do here is you need to leave the fish alone. Don't put him on and then try and move him around. That's when you're also going to get fish stuck to the grill. So leave the fish on here and about, well this is, a, this is like a two kilo, nearly two kilo fish, so I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes before I go anywhere near trying to flip him over, and by that point we should have a bit of a release underneath. Fingers crossed. Oh wait, I need to put the lid on. <laughs> lid on. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. Moment of truth. Okay, so at this point we shouldn't have a problem, but uh, fingers crossed. So you just wanna get your um, barbecue tool and just kind of just give them a little bit of a help in here underneath. I am having a look at our fish, honey. All right, let's have a look. Oh, that is looking really good. Look at that, clean as a whistle. Oh. Okay, flip. You know, it's a thing of beauty. Come and have a look, Charlie. Look at our fishy. Is he all dirty? Is he all dirty? No, he's all grilled. Look. Oh, does he look yummy? Yeah. Oh, look at that. We're going to have fishy, barbecue fishy for lunch. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He looks nice. He does look nice, doesn't he? <laughs> Can you can touch his tail. Don't touch the barbecue. Touch his tail. His tail. Like this. <laughs> right. Let's put the lid on so we can finish him cooking. Yeah. Okay. Are you helping? Uh... Another ten minutes. <laughs> Another ten minutes. We're good to go, guys. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna make a really simple tomato salad. Just slice up some cherry tomatoes. I like a mixture of varieties. And finely dice a mild chili, or a hot one if you prefer. And you want a little bit of finely diced onion here too. A good squeeze of lime and a generous pinch of salt and you're done. All right, fish is smelling epic, which is good because I don't know if you can see behind me, but the tide is coming in. Sandbar is literally probably going to disappear very soon. Uh, so we need to get going. Uh, I'm going to lift this up. Hopefully we're looking good in here. Oh, so good, so good. Look at that. I mean, that color looks good. And if you just have a look in here, um, just inside here, I can see, because we made those slits and I can see that we're cooked all the way right down to the bone. So that is perfect. Now, second moment of truth. Let's make sure this isn't going to stick. Okay, so just again, give it a bit of a scrape. Yeah, it's literally coming. Oh my God, it's literally coming. Okay. <laughs> It's okay, the barbecue is still... <laughs> it's fine. It really is. Well, this is just what having a barbecue on a sandbar is like, isn't it? All right, we're good. Fish is good, everyone. <laughs> oh no, fish is sinking, fish is sinking. Quick <laughs> My fish is sinking. Don't lose my Maybe over there. <laughs> That would have been such a disaster. No, I would have I would have died. I would have actually died. 
just <laughs> picturing. <laughs> okay, uh, quick scene change. <laughs> uh, it's okay, everyone. I have my fish. I have my beer. So <laughs> I'm all good. Mm. All right, we better get going. No more chit chat because the water is coming. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get this out onto my tray. Okay, so I am feeling pretty damn happy with myself. This fish is looking amazing. I'm going to get some of my tomato salad on top of it. Now, if you have a look in here, our salad has made a beautiful little tomato-y, limey juice down the bottom here. That is going to work really well on top of the fish as well. There you go, guys. My perfectly grilled snapper that did not stick to the grill. Yes. <laughs> uh, and a beautiful little tomato salad. Uh, let's get to the eating already before we get flooded again. <laughs> We saved it too. He nearly, he nearly floated away. That looks so good. <laughs> Just that charcoaly skin really makes all the difference. And it's a little harder to do, but so worth it. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, darling. You beat the tide and you beat the fish. <laughs> Is Charlie asleep? Yeah. Perfect so, timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't get any more perfect, really. No. <laughs> what a great day. It was worth it.